Uh, I expected to be telling a rel relatively simple story this morning, and it turned into something else on uh, Friday afternoon. Uh, the story I was going to tell is um, along the lines of good science when provided to good government results in good policy, and the Bay improves, society improves, we all win. That's the way it's supposed to work. Um, there was also going to be a baton pass this afternoon because you know some of us involved in this process, like uh, I see Warren, I see Candace, I see myself in the mirror. Uh, we're getting a little long in the tooth. And we tried to put together a program where we had some brilliant young people on the program. And three of them were sort of surreptitiously taken off of the program. So, you know, it's a little harder to pass the baton. Uh, I want to thank Wally Fulweiler, who I also consider to be brilliant and much younger than me, obviously, um, for stepping in and, and uh, doing the keynote. Um, the thing I would want to uh, note here is that uh, Administrator Pruitt is on record as believing that uh, science needs to be peer-reviewed at a much higher level than it has been before. I, I happen to agree with that. You know, peer review is good. We've peer-reviewed the hell out of this report, for instance. So that's not an issue with the report. But part of what was going on this afternoon is another part of the peer review process. We've sort of kind of summarized the state of where things are. We've identified areas of major improvement. Um, and we've identified the dangers that are looking out there. Um, unmitigated climate change is really going to get us. It's going to undo everything that we've um, achieved so far and much more than that. It would be completely irresponsible to not have that be a major topic of the report and what we're going to talk about this afternoon. And therein lies the rub. Um, Senator Pruitt is also uh, not, I just gave him a promotion. Uh, I, my apologies. Uh, but Administrator Pruitt is, is also on the record as saying that science should not be political. I actually happen to agree with that. Um, when you censor science, though, you take it from uh, uh, the sublime to the political at light speed. He did that. We didn't do that. So, you know, I think, uh, I think we need to kind of refocus um, our efforts to trying to counter what I see as uh, sort of the first move in a chess game. You know, it's the opening gambit. Can we censor science and get away with it? And I would say I hope not. And not wanting to go political, what I would say to Administrator Pruitt is our job is to inform policy. Hopefully it becomes good policy. Let us do our job without fear of losing our jobs. And I hope in that spirit we can kind of move forward from uh, what has occurred and I actually hope that my three younger colleagues show up this afternoon. They're not allowed to talk but apparently they can come. Hopefully, uh, they can come and attend part of the peer review process that is critical to science without fear of losing their jobs. Thank you.